Hi kitty cats. So um, today I am doing my favorites for June. And I just want to say, don't forget to share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and hit that little bell twice if you want notifications for me. I'm looking at all the little moths in the window behind. <laughs> there's so many moths because the light is right outside this window, so they all like, there's very, like a whole bunch of little small ones. Sometimes there's those big, huge, like, um, hummingbird moths and stuff, I think they call them. Anyways, I don't know why I got into talking about moths. Um, I'm here to talk about my favorites for the month of June. And I don't, and I've got some flops too. So, and those are going to be last, I think. Or you know what? I'm going to do the flops first, right? Get over with, get over the bad stuff first. Um, so, first of all, I was really disappointed in this conditioner. It smells amazing, as most John. I wish this was better. Um, it's lavender and avocado intense conditioner. And I love the smell of lavender. It smells so good, but they put this little tiny, tiny little, can you see how small it is to come out of? And it's like, this is really hard to squeeze, especially with someone with arthritis, but even so, it is hard plastic. It is not something that you can squeeze. I don't, the packaging is terrible, and that's the problem with these, is the packaging. Like, this one too, I've used it. The shampoo does come out easier out of this one, because it's not so thick. Um, the shampoo's okay. It's still kind of a flop for me. It's sort of... It's not complete flop it's like half a flop <laughs> so that's you know that's the way it is um this one is the conditioner and like I said it's just a flop for me because I can't get it out <laughs> like I got a little bit out of it it's so thick that I can't which makes me mad because I think I would probably really like it if I could get it out of the bottle. I mean, I've tried, I've tried even trying to cut through. The plastic is so hard that how I burn my knuckle. That's how hard it is. It is not, definitely not good for people with arthritis and just definitely not good packaging all around. Especially for, I don't know, a sample. You know, this is like a sample size and I like the fact that they don't put them in foil. I don't like foils, but this is too hard. They should have something that you can squeeze easily like this, you know? The plastic's not hard and you can squeeze it very easily. So, there's that. Um, so, those are the first two like flops. They're kind of half flops. I mean, this just wasn't great shampoo. It just isn't really a great shampoo. And this I can't get out. So if I could get it out, maybe I would like it. I've liked other John Masters stuff, like their lotion. I really love their lotion, but it's thinner. So it comes out easier out of these bottles. These bottles are too hard to have something that thick in it. So yeah, that really upset me. Then next flop, get some of this packaging off of this. Down into the trash it goes. The next flop is the NYX Honey Do Me Up. Which I thought I would like, but the apple, look at this. Do you, do you see that? It's like super sticky and goopy and the applicator like, no. And it, when you put it on your face, it's really, really sticky. Not tacky, like sticky. Like super sticky. It, it's just not good. I don't like using it. I'm really disappointed. Um, I thought that I would. Also, why are there all these little like gold flecks in there? What do you need that for? Anyway. 
face. <laughs> like, it's kind of stupid, kind of gimmicky in my opinion with a little flux in it. And it's just sticky and goopy and hard to get on. So, no. Not for me. Then there's this. This is Sahi Cosmetics. Cream Metallic Foil Eyeshadow, which I thought would be, like, really awesome. Um, I've used foil eyeshadows before, and I realized that it's, you know, takes some work sometimes. But this is just really cruddy, in my opinion. It's pretty, but it was really cruddy and really hard to apply. Um, and then when you applied it, it does not look as good as it does in here. It just doesn't. Like this, super pretty. You put it on your eye and it just, it's, no. It's like super light when you put it on your eye. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Can you see it even? It's like barely seeable. It's very hard to see. So. There's that. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about um, some skin care stuff that I like to... The only thing I really have to talk about with skin care is the Watermelon Bliss Reviving Destressing Overnight Mask. This is really nice. For one thing, it smells delicious. Um, and it's not too thick. So it's great for summer because when you want, you do like overnight masks or moist, you know, intense moisturizers, you don't want them to be super thick during the summer because it just makes you feel greasy and stuff. This does not. This is nice and thin, smells like watermelon, which is divine, and definitely, definitely improved my skin. I'm quite serious about that. When I use this, the next morning my skin looks really nice. It feels really nice. I like this stuff. When I say my skin looks nice, I mean I still have my rosacea and stuff, but it f looks and feels smooth and soft, and I like that. So that is what we're doing for skin care. Um, for like perfume body spray stuff, we have the um, Zany Lini Destiny Peach Margarita Rain. It's it's called Destiny. Um, it's supposed to be like one of the Star Wars ones. And it smells delicious. So that was like perfume stuff. And now I'm going to show you some hair stuff that I liked. One is this uh, mint leaf scalp oil. And I've been putting it like in my scalp. Kind of spray it in and kind of rub it in and brush it brush my hair and it smells okay um i'm not a huge like mint person um but it smells okay but it also just really like makes my my scalp feel more soothed i guess is what you would say um because my scalp is because of the psoriasis, it's itchy and sometimes it burning kind of, and this has helped a lot. Now, the other thing I'm going to talk about, I know it's favorites, but it's still in the package. That's because the company is called Wake the Dead Scrubs. Now, I had opened up some stuff like a few weeks ago or whatever, and, uh, one of the products had leaked a little onto everything else. It really wasn't that bad. But the owner of the company, uh, she saw it and she saw the video and she wrote to me that she felt really bad. And I was like, oh no, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. But I also said, you know, I really, really love the brainwash sculpt and which, is this amazing stuff and I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, she always sends, she always puts candy in the packages. Isn't that cute? I'll give it to my daughter, she'll love that. Um, so, I think that's so cute, she does that. And, make sure there's nothing else in here. 
I knew there would be something else, some other candy. She, she always puts candy in, so funny. Um, and a little lollipop. I might keep this lollipop for myself this time. It looks orange, I like orange. Anyways, <laughs> so, I just wanna say, she sent this to me for free because of the, one of the packages leaking a little bit. Even though I told her, you know, wasn't, she still sent this. And I was like, okay, cool. How many companies do that? I mean, this is super, super nice. Oh, it smells so good. This stuff's amazing too. You put it in your hair and you just kind of like, we put it in your scalp really. And you just kind of scrub. It ends up in your hair though too, you know. And I especially like to do it around the ears because I get a lot of psoriasis behind my ears. And over here and it just it just scrubs a lot of that off and it feels so good so good and my scalp is less itchy when I use it so amazing stuff I do it before I shampoo um the first time I did it after and I found that that wasn't you know I couldn't I didn't get it all washed off when I did that so this time I used it before I shampoo and I use like a medicated shampoo as well so but this stuff, amazing. Just smelling it makes me feel better. It smells that good. And she wrote me a note. Hey Joanne, I hope this brainwash scalp gets to you safely. Thanks for being one of my newest zombabes. I put in candies for your daughter. I'm keeping the lollipop this time though. She can have the nerds. <laughs> but I'm sure she will really appreciate it anyways. Um, last time there were two lollipops and I gave them to, um, my daughter. So, really cool company. I highly suggest, I will leave a link down below for this company. Wake the Dead Scrubs. I mean, I'm just really happy. They have masks and some wax melts and, um, all sorts of different stuff. Lots of different lotions. I also got a um, lotion that's kind of especially for heels and stuff and I've been using it on the psoriasis on my arms and I think I've seen a difference there too using that. So I mean she's got some amazing, amazing products and you should definitely, definitely try them. I'm going to smell this one more time. Oh, so good. Anyways, <laughs> so we're going to move on, sorry, we're going to move on to makeup. This month there was makeup. Um, well, in June there was makeup. I had a little extra money in June, and so I got some things, and it's been awesome. Um, because of, but other things are just stuff that I've already had that I've been using a lot anyways. Um, I didn't get that much extra stuff, but it was, it was nice to be able to get some things for a change. Um, uh, I got this ultra glossy lip, um, like months ago, but I've been using it so much. And it's the Laura Lee, uh, ColourPop thing and it's the color wham i'm wearing it right now it like let me put some more on it's like so pretty i just i really like it i think it's nice for summer very glittery and pretty 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 so and then I got a lot of highlighters. Um, this one I think I've had for a little while and just haven't used it. I don't even remember when I got it, to be honest. If I can get it open. Oh my god, how do I get this open? Hello, there we go. This is the um, Master Chrome Maybelline Metallic Highlighter. And it's in the color... Molten Gold. It says Molten Gold or Fondue. I don't know what that means. Um, let's see. I'm not wearing it right now though, but it is super pretty. And I love it. Um, but only for days when I really, it is so shiny. So it's like robot shiny. So if you're gonna use this like, you know, realize that you're really gonna shine to the heavens and that's fine with me but some people might feel like that's a bit much um i also got the aurora anastasia beverly hills um i actually got this used on depop 
and it was barely used. You couldn't even tell, really. Um, I've used it a few times, and I'm really liking the color Luna right here. I really, really like this white color of the Luna. Um, I haven't tried them all out, but I think that these colors here, Helia and Orion, will be great for like a mermaid some mermaid looks or fairy type looks and spectra of course could be great for like something like that too so yay last of all i got this ColourPop highlighter palette which i am wearing um one of these colors right now i'm actually wearing this one right here called fine line And it's very pretty. It's not like too much, I think. Um, I've used the Glad You Came quite a few times. And I really like that one too. They are so pretty. And I think, you know, they're so buttery. Can you see that? They are so buttery. It They're just so nice. And of course, this is in the giveaway, so remember that. There's another one of these in the giveaway. The link to the giveaway will be down below as well. So in the information. Um, also makeup stuff, We The CoverGirl True Blue Matte Made, and you probably saw my little review on it. Um, choo -choo. This is in Classic Ivory. Great stuff. I've been loving it. I've been wearing it now. I've been wearing it a lot. I find that it works really well. Okay. <laughs> so, last but not least on the makeup stuff at least is the Life's a Drag. Um, Lunar Beauty. Of course, Manny Amiway's company. And it's so beautiful. Just really, really gorgeous. Um, I'm wearing it today. Uh, what colors am I wearing? I've got Cake Face, Sickening. Oh, I'm sorry. Cake Face, Sickening, which is this one up here. Then I have this one here called Snatched. And then I'm also wearing this color here called Beat. And then I also got the color up here called Kiki. And that's just underneath my eyes a little bit. And it will show you what I did. Could use probably a little more blending. But it came out really pretty. And then I put, um, this is not my favorites, but I do use it a lot, so it probably should be the Kitten Karma. Um, my daughter actually took off of this at one point. The Stila, uh, what are they called? Magnificent Mel's Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I love putting these in the corner of my eye. So, I'm gonna put some of this stuff away. It's not like hanging out here. Ugh. This is the biggest problem. I am running out of room for palettes. Palettes are kind of driving me a little crazy. But taking up a lot of room. Well, what you gonna do, right? Get more shelving. Get more drawers. Something. Ugh. I can't figure out where to keep everything. This stuff. I'm gonna sniff this hair stuff one more time. Oh, so good. So good. So that's all of those. I'm gonna talk about some food stuff. I've been loving these Tropicana Cocoa Blends, which is like juice with coconut water in it. Um, it's filtered water, sugar, there's a lot of sugar in it. So if you don't wanna have a lot of sugar, I understand. It's not corn syrup though, which in my opinion is much worse. Um, I probably corn syrup in here too. No, actually I don't see any corn syrup. It's filtered water, sugar, peach puree concentrate, passion fruit juice concentrate, coconut water, Vegetable juice concentrate, um, citric acid, which is a normal thing, natural flavors, and absorbic acid, which is vitamin C. Um, and contains coconut ingredients, duh. Um, <laughs> it says coconut water right on it. Why do you need to say contains coconut ingredients? <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Anyways. Um, we've been drinking these. I've especially been drinking the other one. It's like just pineapple juice and coconut water. And yes, there's some added sugar. Um, which I didn't see before, but I still really like it. It's not, juice has sugar in it anyways. It's not something like that you should drink huge amounts of. You really should drink water. But it, I have been liking these for like some juice once in a while. Because sometimes you just crave lemonade or iced tea or juice. Um, that's just me. Uh, some people crave soda. Once in a while I do, but that's very rare. Um, but I do love coconut water. And I do drink a lot of coconut water, I will admit that. Which is very sweet. Um, but it's very hydrating and I really love coconut water so much. Uh, anyways, so there's that. Also, cherries. Cherries are my favorite fruit and they've been on sale so I've been getting that a lot. And watermelon, of course, because it's summer. And we eat the watermelon in the summer and it's delicious yum 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 so anyways that's for that um tv shows right now uh we were watching parks and recreation over again um but it's like i don't know it's, it's kind of in july round anyways but we were watching it in june too um stargate sg1 i've been watching over again um what else we've been watching um what's that show Oh my goodness, I can't, America's people or whatever, I can't think, you know what I'm talking about, the one with Heidi Klum and Simon and Howie Mandel and Mel B and they're the judges and all these different people, you know, have different talents and they come up and that stuff. So that's what we've been uh, watching. Um, so yeah, and that's what we watch. Movies, I'm thinking, movies we have been, um, the last movie I saw was Jurassic Park. I saw The Drive-In. We were going to watch The Quiet Place too, but John wasn't feeling very good. And so we left. Um, but that was like the last day of June that we saw that. I think, was, did I watch The Avengers in May or June? I can't remember, to be honest. Um, I think it may have been June that we saw The Avengers, but I'm not sure. Um, and my niece is actually taking me this week to go see Ant-Man, um, and the Wasp, which I'm super excited about. It's my birthday present from her because she's an awesome niece. I was actually just going to go with her and then she said, oh, you know what? I can pay for it for your birthday. And it was like, oh, it's super nice. I gave her a lasagna dinner and, um, we watched Thor movies for her birthday. <laughs> that I had in the house um but I bought I actually bought them especially so that she could watch them but I also just really love Thor movies anyway so um and I was happy to get them for myself I only one that I didn't get for myself was Ragnarok and we rented that one so that she could see it so we had like a little we watched some Thor movies and I made her lasagna and we had a good time um and she is such a good niece. I love her so much. Abby, if you're watching, I love you. Anyways, <laughs> she would be super, super embarrassed probably by that. Um, anyways, yeah. So I think that's everything for favorites. I didn't, I don't have any nail polish favorites really. I haven't been doing my nails that much. I know. Um, I haven't been paying attention to them. I've been dealing with other things, so... But, I do have some favorites, and I've told them to you now, and now is the end of this video, says I. <laughs> Alright. Always remember to be kind, even when you want to slap them in the face. Bye, kitty cats.